Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Keysight Technologies. Today I want to talk about using dimmer switches with LED light bulbs. I went to the hardware store and they had a broad selection of switches and they also had an even broader selection of dimmable light bulbs. And so I wanted to take a look at some of those products today and, and see, show you how they work and how they work together. So to get started, we'll look at how our dimmer switches work. So right now I'm, I have a typical dimmer switch hooked up and it's actually driving an, a 60 watt incandescent bulb. And so what we have two waveforms here. We have the, the waveforms going into the dimmer switch and the waveforms coming out of the dimmer switch. So what I'll do is um, first I'm going to go ahead and just um, move our waveform down so you can actually see the two waveforms together. So the yellow set of waveform represents our input and the green represents the output of the dimmer switch. So we have uh, our voltage waveform, we have our current waveform, and we have our power waveform at the bottom. So the incandescent bulb is basically a resistor, so they, all the signals look very similar. So now as we start to dim our light bulb, you can see what happens is the way the dimmer switch works is it actually keeps the amplitude the same. The green waveform is our output, so the amplitude, the voltage stays the same that's coming out of the dimmer switch. But what it's doing is it's doing phase control. So this is called forward phase control or leading edge control where they actually remove part of the waveform and that reduces the power. So we can actually look at that using our, our power analyzer. So you can see the, the watts that are going um, into the dimmer switch is about uh, 32 watts. We can um, look at the output as well. So. so now we're looking at the output and it's, it's very similar. So around um, 30, 31 watts is what we're outputting. As we um, continue to dim it, you can see the, the watts drop. And so as the waveform gets smaller, the amount of energy that goes to light is is uh, great re reduced for about about half of the amount of um, wattage when it's at its full brightness now. So that's that's the way a, a dimmer switch works. This is uh, called forward phase control or um, leading edge. So I wanted to show another uh, dimmer switch. This this dimmer switch is a slide control, and I thought it was interesting to look at because it um, starts with quite a bit of that leading edge already um, missing. So just by installing this dimmer switch, it drops down the power to our light bulb about to 35 watts. And normally the, the light bulb at full power is um, over 40 watts. So just putting the switch in starts to dim the lights. And then from there, it, it dims down even more. So again, the same sort of leading edge or forward phase control on, on that switch. So our third and final switch I wanted to show you is a uh, what's called a trailing edge switch. So we'll go ahead and um, turn it on. And what it does is it actually deletes the trailing edge of the waveform. So you can see the trailing edge is removed as we dim the light and then we can put it back. So that's known as um, reverse phase or trailing edge control. So it's this type of dimmer switch is usually used with a capacitive device. A lot of low voltage um, lights use a, a capacitive power supply. And so this is a, the ideal switch for that. But I just wanted to show you the difference between the leading edge and the, the trailing edge control. So we'll move on. I'll, I'll switch light bulbs and we'll take a look at our LED light bulbs. Okay, we've gone ahead and installed our inexpensive uh, dimmable LED bulb. And so you can, right away you can see that the current is, or excuse me, the watts is much different. Our um, incandescent bulb used over um, 42 watts on full brightness, whereas the LED were less than 10. So this is the reason why when switching to LED bulbs is that energy savings of greater than, um, you know, four X is, is tremendous with these LED bulbs. So what we want to do with our um, inexpensive um, LED bulb is pay particular attention to our, our current waveform. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start dimming it. And right away, you can see there's, it, it goes from this really nice current waveform, and it goes into um, 
a really complex waveform. And as it does that, the LED actually uh, kind of flashes as we dim it. Um, and then once we start dimming it and it's in this other mode, then it, it dims pretty consistently. But we do see kind of a, a spike at the beginning of the LED when we dim it, when we go from full brightness um, down to um, a dim state and a really complex waveform. So at this point, we'll go ahead and switch over to our more expensive dimmable LED bulb. All right, now we've installed our more expensive LED bulb and it uh, works a lot more like the incandescent bulb. And so as we dim the LED, we'll watch the current waveform and it, it will just uh, dims very, very um, evenly throughout the range of the dimmer switch. So it's, it's compatible with a lot of different types of dimmer switches and the manufacturer on their website actually published a long list of dimmer switches that their, their light bulb can be used with. And so it's, uh, as you can see, it just very even from one end of the scale to the other. So in conclusion, we looked today at how dimmer switches actually work, and we also looked at a couple different types of LED dimmable light bulbs and how the two work together. So I thought you'd find it interesting to actually see the power waveforms that are generated by the dimmer switches and the LED light bulbs. So thanks for watching.